Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's 2022. <gasps> Has cinematography completely changed? Is it a brand new world? No, no, it's more the same. And we're doing retail. Hello, Hayes. I don't know what they're saying in this commercial, but I think it's something about sushi. And this guy's having a good time, right? He's laughing. We got the mob boss here. What's he gonna deliver? I like the suit, looking good. And we're in a van, right? We're probably gonna end up at the bottom of the river. There's our mark. That's the accountant. What kind of pills is this guy popping? Anyway, uh, we're going through. You see where this is heading. There's a lot of smoke in this room, right? This is either for a humidifier or maybe it's to get rid of the smoke in a room. All right, that looks like my cousin. And no haze, no haze, no haze. Lots of haze. And even more haze in this one. Going for that overhead lighting look. I see what time it is. And we're out. Okay. This guy's really loving it. Look at him. Uh, what should we do here? I guess we'll go through... Well, this is the nicest looking stuff, at least to me. Now, why is this the nice looking stuff to me? Uh, well, because it has the most interest, right? It has the most layers. Uh, it's also sort of my... I like the style of lighting. I like lighting from the side. You can see, okay, we got old mate here. He's getting lit from the side. All this other stuff is getting lit top down. Good levels in the background versus what's here. Because this is, this is the important number here. This ratio between over here, we've got, say, a 12 by 12 uh, to light these two up. And we're going to set this level. And then we're going to set all the background level to whatever this is, right? Because we can control this level the easiest. So we set the key light level, and then everything else fills in accordingly. And then we come back, we push through this little thing here. And ta-da! It's very nice, right? That's probably the nicest frame. Now, let's talk about haze here. This is the old Bob Richardson, right? This is sort of the amount of haze that you want in a room. We did a recent podcast, and I can't remember if it was this week or if it's coming up next week, where I talk about the haze and the mistakes that I have made in the haze game before uh, being on set. This is one of them, right? Where you go from no haze in the entire room to lots of haze, right? This is the mistake. And normally what happens when you're setting up for a commercial, actually, this is probably the best example here. When you're setting up for a commercial and you're on set, and you're trying to get everything in place, and you got lots of people moving around, the last thing you're going to do, especially if you're on a location, is you're going to haze the room, right? And you want the level of haze where you can see in the foreground, you can't really see the haze at all, right? Between you and the subject, you can't see the haze at all, right? Depending on the width of the lens, um, the aperture that you're at, probably not the aperture, that doesn't make a difference. Well, maybe it might. Um, whatever. You're going to be, if you're shooting commercials like this, retail stuff, you're going to be wide open. So... Uh, you know, good luck shooting this thing at T8. But you're going to be wide open. But really, you want the haze behind. You want the haze to sort of lift the shadows just to open it up a little bit. Not this guy, right? What are you doing on set? He probably thought, oh, I'll just come for a day. Thought he was hiding. Not going to happen, sir. Uh, so you want the haze levels. I mean, this is pretty good haze. But what happens when you get there on the day is you do all your lights, you set everything up, and the last thing you're going to do is haze it up. And normally that last section, everybody, client, agency, everyone is staring at the monitor because they want to see what you've been working on for the past 45 minutes. Um, and, you know, the, the alert has gone on set that, okay, we're getting very close to rolling. Okay, let's see it. That's when you're going to haze it up, right? Because in the location, it's going to go all over the place. Somebody's going to open the door. Uh, it's going to completely ruin the ambience on set. And you're going to spend 15 minutes rehazing this thing. But if you just haze the entire room right before you go, you're going to get the client, you're going to get the agency, you're going to get everybody freaking out because you're going to leave the live feed of the set up and you're just going to see this whole place filled with smoke. And then, of course, over the walkie-talkies, you're going to get, yeah, uh, it looks like there's too much haze in the room. That's when you have to, you know, you give it the eye roll uh, to all the crew on set. And then uh, you go back to the tent. You say, listen, uh, we're just hazing the room right now. It's going to clear out. Just wait a few minutes, okay? It's going to be perfect. Trust me. Um, and then nobody trusts you. And they say, no haze. And the whole set gets completely ruined in the commercial looks terrible for it. Whereas this is the, the good way to do it, where you cut the feed to the monitor, to the clients, to the agency, you cut all those feeds, you haze the room. As soon as you get the haze at the exact right level that you want to keep it at, that's when you turn the monitors back on and you say, ta-da, because if you scare them with too much haze, you end up with no haze. And uh, then how are you ever going to make your commercial onto this channel? No one's going to care. You think people are going to watch it on TV? Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, uh... That's pretty much it, right? It's, it's the level of haze that we are going for here. And it's really easy to screw up, right? Even inside of this commercial, it's really hard to keep this 
ambient level on a location. Like you gotta have somebody on it all the time. They're gonna be switching back and forth. People are coming in and out of the room. The haze is going everywhere. You're 100% gonna get a call from the producer um, or the editor. Like, what did you do with the haze? There's a bunch of good takes that we can't use. And you say, I just look after the pictures. How do those look? Good? Okay, job done. No, you should be a team player. You shouldn't just do uh, whatever you want to do. But, yeah, that's it. Do we have to talk about this stuff again? I mean, this is the classic setup, right? This is framework to the maximum. You think I'm lying about curtains and shears? Just put it in. Put it in every time. Do a little push in and the light from one side. And you, too, can be doing this humidifier commercial. But it's nice. This is not like a, you know, it's not really a normal look to go that top heavy, but it does the job. This is the land of retail. Welcome to your future. And uh, hopefully mine as well, if I can get a few jobs. Okay, that is going to do it for this episode of uh, whatever it is we're doing here. Uh, that's all I got. Okay, goodbye.